Okay, doing a quick little video because I told the guys at work that I would uh, show them I made this uh, CO2 reaction chamber with uh, with uh, two cups of sugar, um, a teaspoon of baking soda, uh, some warm water, shake that up in the two liter bottle, um, then to a cup of warm water add about a tablespoon of, uh, of uh, active dry yeast. Um, oops, Fleischmann's is what I used, uh, or Red Star, or Fleischmann's, um, then put the, uh, water in here with the tube down here, you can see it bubbling, um, then another tube to transport the CO2 into what would be a tank. And you can see the air stone bubbling actually pretty good. I actually may have put too much yeast in here. If you cut down on the yeast, you will slow the reaction, therefore causing it to last longer. Um, uh, you know, depending on uh, how, how fast you need this to work. Um, but you can see uh, there's a, a, a calculation... Um, where you can see the, the bubbles rising in this one. Um, there's a calculation you can use. I, I don't know it exactly. I don't care. As long as the thing works, I think it's good. Um, I don't need to get that critical with it. But um, anyway, um, basically you would stick uh, you'd stick this air stone into your tank and it would disperse it. I would put it um, near your water uh a circulation system so that it disperses it throughout the tank uh, evenly and you know more rapidly but uh, and then basically you know this this will probably last a, a couple of weeks or so it's going to go in a 55 gallon aquarium um, but uh, and then in a couple of weeks I'll you know change it redo the uh, the yeast and and everything and then reload it and keep going because uh, my plants seem to be yellowing uh, even though my lights seem to be okay. Um, so I'm going to try this as a solution.